on this episode of Outdoors in the Bluegrass, we're going to take you back to earlier in the year and do a little fishing. That's right, we're going to tighten the lines on a little bit of trout at the County Fins Lake, and then we're going to wrap it up with some bass fishing with frogs and a little topwater action. It's a lot of fun. Warmer weather, t-shirts, shorts, flip-flops, and no masks, and a lot of fun. Let's get to it. Hello everybody, I'm Bill Dance, and you're watching Outdoors in the Bluegrass. Outdoors in the Bluegrass is made possible by Blues, feel the difference. Strike King Lures, tie one on. Digital effects wraps, advertise the wrap way. Hoghead Trailer Sales, we're all about trailers. Fish 419 Performance Gear, called to fish. Academy Sports and Outdoors, for all for less. Brushy Bottom Camouflage, deceptive, deadly, definition. ladies and gentlemen it's that time of year again the first stocking of the local fins lake here in anderson county we're gonna go see if we can catch some trout inline spinners chartreuse golden blade and our little baby sprouts on a float depending on how they're biting that's how we do it let's get up here baby sink a little bit. Yeah. They're fun to catch. I'm not a fan of eating them. Yeah. A lot of people say they smoke them. They're just so blasted slimy. There you go. Fins Lake Trout, not, that's a nice size one. They don't really ever get that big because everybody comes in here and cleans them out as soon as they stock them. But, about, well, yeah. Like when they stock catfish. Man, have you ever seen it after they stock catfish down here? Good Lord. You'd think there was some type of an event going on. Both sides of the bank, and they'll just walk out of here with baskets and baskets of them. They don't even give them time to do anything. Oh, there was a hit. Oh, missed it. <laughs> there we go. Not a monster. That's a tiny booger. Oh yeah. We 
you'll see in this next video, I told people the best way to catch white bass is to stay out of the water. There's another one. Because those schools of white bass, when they're spawning, it doesn't take much to interrupt that school and split it. So if you're standing in the water or you're in a kayak or you're coming up river and boat, all you're doing is making things harder on yourself and everybody else fishing it. Because you'll notice you can be on fire. You can be catching one after another and a blasted boat will come through on a kayak or something or some guy wading and it'll shut off for a good hour. And then they'll be like, how you catching all them fish? And I'll be like, I, I don't get in the water. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. The wind came in and the bite shut off. That's generally how that works. Told you, Kentucky this time of year is one front after another. That's all right though. We'll give you more trout action at the Finns Lakes before the year chimes out. Not all fishermen are created equal, but then again, not all fishing rods and reels are created equal. It's about getting your bait in just the right spot and then reaping the rewards. It's about confidence in your equipment, knowing that it won't let you down in that moment of truth. It's about a feel. It's about a difference. It's about lose rods and reels. Feel the difference. Today, we're talking about frog fishing. Thanks to my buddy Jim Crowley over at Hook and Hunt TV who did a Facebook Live about frogs the other day. It got me thinking. And uh, frog fishing is probably by far my favorite bass fishing technique. And I think we can all agree why. That explosion of topwater activity is just amazing. Today, we're using two different types of frogs. Uh, because of the lake we're at, the average size of bass, uh, higher population of bass near is about 12 to 15 inches so we're using a little bit smaller frog uh, your traditional uh, top swim type frog uh, the booyah pad crasher junior uh, a little bit smaller profile and then uh, we're using these big super toads from strike king a soft plastic type uh, and we'll show you both of them and we'll see which one performs better but there's a lot of good opportunity in this lake because there's a lot of moss and uh, a lot of uh, like little padded uh, I don't know, all, all kinds of stuff growing up uh, that creates awesome weed lines and some good opportunities. It's a little bit hot, windy, we've got a front coming through. Everything should be panned out for us to do some good fishing. Let's see if we can do it. She's never got one on a frog. First, The first thing I can tell you is, is don't set the hook immediately. You gotta wait. <laughs> Let's have some fun.
anchor. Frogo does it again. It's only twice though. It's not that great. Little dinkers. Ha <laughs> ha! See? The frogs can do it. Well, as you can see, sometimes you miss more than you catch when you're frog fishing. <laughs> now, I, I mentioned that we were going to use the Strike King plastic frog, but we have not used that yet uh, simply because. That's going to be a little bit bigger bait, and the fish we're catching are awfully small, the ones that are wanting to take after this uh, topwater pad frog. So with that little bit bigger profile bait, I don't think we may catch them bigger, but we may not catch as much. <laughs> and I'm about catching something right now, not just catching something big. We'll keep trying it in these shady spots. As it gets later, it may get better. Patience. All about frog fishing. you got to be like Yoda. Patience it is. Warriors Tackle Supply. Get tight lines. A good one. What? I don't know. Ah, oh, he was a good one. <laughs> Good Lord, he took it. Wait, I mean, did you see my pole bend over? Gotta be patient with work with uh, frog <laughs> it ain't nothing really worth bragging about, but it's still a fish. Ah. Well, that's going to do it for today. We didn't get to use both frogs that we discussed. Uh, we were catching dinks left, you know, well, not left and right. But we were getting a bunch of hits, and uh, they just wouldn't commit to it. Smaller fish, 
if I had any bigger of a frog, uh, like those uh, Strike King frogs, I don't think we would have landed what we did. Frogs are a game of patience. It takes patience to fish it. it, takes patience to set the hook, but it's a lot of fun. That explosion just really gets you going. We'll see you again. Sun, uh, the sun's set, the moon's starting to glow, it's time to go in. We'll catch you again, baby, on Outdoors in the Bluegrass.